Hey there. <clears throat> oh, wow. Let me uh, clear my throat. Hey there. Um, welcome to another episode of Adventure School. This is a series we do where we invite well-traveled um, travelers and um, we invite them to share some of their tips for adventuring easy. So today we're going to have on Chelsea from Gotcha Packed. Um, I've spoken to her before, but our IGTV did not save, so I don't know what happened there. Thanks for joining. Um, so anyway, that was last year around this time, I believe. So we're gonna talk to her again. This time she's gonna share a lot of her tips about eco-friendly travel um, and basically what Gotcha Packed is. So let me find her to invite her. Dun -dun. It's basically a styling service that originated in styling for travel, but now they kind of style for all kinds of occasions. They even have a style subscription where um, you kind of tell her if you're going to an event or if it's a holiday or a trip. Um, and she will put together a box of styled books for you. She will show you how to style it. She'll give you like a little lookbook that has all of the different outfits put together with accessories, shoes, clothes, everything. And splice clothing is one of those items that gets to be in those boxes sometimes. So that's super cool. Um, so yeah, so Chelsea, um, she will probably tell you, but... She actually lives in Ohio, and we met just a few years ago, just by chance. She just found me, and she reached out, and we've been connected ever since. And um, she was inspired to start her travel-ish business um, in a way similar to me, where she went on a trip to actually, she was in the Peace Corps, so I'll let her talk about that more. But she was in the Peace Corps in Africa, and um, that's kind of what drove her to start her business gotcha pack like i said she can explain more about that but she is a guru about eco-friendly travel and um traveling light and still having style how to style things how to have a versatile wardrobe things like that so she is a really great resource so let's see if we can get her on So hopefully she'll be on here in a minute. Um, but yeah, so again, if you're tuning in live, then you can leave questions in the comments and then Chelsea can answer as we are talking live. And if you have any questions for her after the fact, um, if you're watching this on our replay, then you can definitely head over to her pro profile at Gotcha Pact um, or go to her website. She has this awesome style quiz where you kind of answer a few questions for, to give her an idea of what you're looking for and then she kind of compiles a a box for you full of looks and then you go through them try them on you get to decide what you want to keep you send back what you don't um and it's just a really awesome concept especially great for travel um you can even specify that you want some splice clothing looks in there and she'll mix and match stuff for you so let's see let's just get her in here come on in why isn't the button working? I'm approving it. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hey. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Ah, yeah. I'm excited. Um, I was just kind of explaining about Gotcha Packed. So I don't know. Maybe you want to take it from here so you can um, tell a little bit better about Gotcha Packed. And also, I was I touched briefly on your your experience in the Peace Corps so maybe oh, for that too oh my gosh first of all um I like haven't done one of these in so long so I completely forgot how so I'm sorry that I left you hanging for a few minutes <laughs> you're okay like I'm pressing the button I don't know what's happening <laughs> I was just like sitting there on Instagram just like waiting and waiting and then I was like oh I probably need to like tune in oh my gosh anyways sorry no, you're good you're good yeah, so I'm Chelsea. Um, I'm the founder of Gotcha Pact. Um, gotcha Pact, I'm, you know, Ashley already gave you, gave you the rundown, but um, I started this company um, as a virtual style service for people that are traveling for work, traveling for, you know, vacation, pleasure, whatever. Um, and then, you know, COVID hit, so we had to do a little uh, research on what to do <laughs> when traveling was um, not happening anymore. So, um, I expanded and started a subscription service for, um, you know, people that want um, new looks every three months. So just a seasonal membership. 
Um, so yeah, we essentially style people for all kinds of things. You can do special occasion um, options. You have, you know, a bachelorette party coming up or whatever. So you don't have to be traveling, but obviously that is our niche. Um, that's why we got started. Um, so yeah, um, I was in the Peace Corps in Senegal uh, for two years, as Ashley probably said. And um, this was like 10 years ago now, by the way, which is crazy. Um, I <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, when I was, um, you know, gearing up to leave for two years, I was like, how in the, in the world do I pack for something like that? Um, and I tried to do a lot of research and there wasn't much information online at the time on what locals wear and, you know, what to expect with the weather. I was like, I know it's going to be hot, but like there's rainy seasons and there's, I mean, it gets to be kind of chilly, you know, in the winter and stuff. So once your body gets acclimated, at least, um, so anyways, that's why I started this, because when I got home from um, Senegal, I was like, you know, um, I wish someone would have been there to help me. And um, I love traveling. I love fashion. That's what I went to school for. So um, I kind of wanted to combine the two. Um, and then another really cool element with Fashion Pact is um, we source from all young, small, female-owned businesses like Ashley, um, eco-friendly, um, sustainable brand who use like really cool sustainable fabrics, um, minority owned businesses, um, companies that give back um, a portion of the proceeds. So everything is ethically sourced, which is super important to me. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the rundown. Sorry for all the- <laughs> No, no, perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully gives you- That was what I wanted to know. And also I wanted to say, uh, Key Wine said, we love Gotcha Pack. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> <laughs> so this is um a local um company here in cincinnati they source all uh skin wines and i style the founders and um i like to source things that are from um one of my brands that i use is uh, out in spain so um kind of try to tie in yeah yeah a little bit of what they're all about with their clothes so yeah i love the idea so so also i just wanted to say too so Chelsea like does all the research in the back end to kind of like if you're going to let's say you're going to like Brazil or something like she like researches Brazil not just the weather and everything but the culture and stuff and brands that kind of will fit in with that lifestyle so if you're someone who likes to wear things that kind of match your destination so your pictures look all styled and whatever that is something that Chelsea does like very well like chef's kiss. <laughs> I know um, Instagram and everything nowadays it's like um people obviously want to post all their pictures look fabulous so I think it's kind of fun to yeah incorporate the style and culture and yeah and even and um even though it's about like styling and everything like she does a really good job also at like finding things that mix and match so when she makes your lookbook there there will be items that will come up more than once because you because packing light is still with gonna make the trip a little easier but you're gonna be able to mix and match different things so sometimes if you get if you're gonna go hiking or gonna do more active things and you get a splice clothing piece in your look that can be mixed and matched with other things in the box yeah. which is kind of how we are brands like mesh so well together because hers is like very much like fashion forward and style and everything and mine's like packing light and adventure but they kind of like mesh in the middle yeah, wow. of using um, Ashley's style. Your joggers are my favorite. You can dress them up and dress them down. Um, yeah, we, we give a lookbook. That's probably one of people's favorite things is the lookbook. So you can kind of reference um, what you're, you know, how to match everything so you don't have to really think about it. I even go as far as to like labeling the, the packages and being like, here's your outfit for your day of hiking. Here's your outfit for your date night, you know, and so people think about it I think the most trustful thing as you know e either way over packing and carrying a really really heavy pack I my my backpack for Senegal was outrageously heavy and I didn't end up wearing half of the stuff you know it's like I packed hiking boots I didn't need hiking boots in Africa <laughs> everyone wore flip-flops every day you know so those are the kinds of things I wish I would have paid attention to yeah. Um, but yeah I think um it does it does work really well together for sure yeah exactly um and she, like, she was explaining, she has very heavy focus on, like, um, ethical brands and eco-friendly stuff. So that's why I wanted to have her on um, for a few minutes to kind of talk about some of her tips for eco-friendly travel. Um, I think a lot of us like to live that way uh, every day. But then when we travel, like, it's kind of harder to incorporate that. So she's going to kind of give us some of her tips for uh, traveling um, and being thoughtful of the environment while you're, while you're on the go, too. 
Yes, yes. Okay. So top five tips to travel in an eco-friendly way. Number one is um, pack light. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so a way to do that, um, you can use neutral pieces is my, um, you know, number one tip. So, you know, white t-shirt, you know, neutrals, tans, black, you know, some, I mean, I know maybe that's not like the most, um, adventurous, you know, fashion tip, but like, at least you can mix and match. Like we were just talking about all the pieces, um, and really make the most out of your suitcase. Um, I think, you know, A, you pay a lot more money, um, when you have a really, really heavy suitcase. So you want to avoid that, but you know, fuel emissions that can be, um, that can contribute to heavy packs and everything. So, um, yeah, that's, that's really important. Um, reversible clothing is another way to uh, accolade. So, um, obviously another thing that Ashley's really good at. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, so pack light, the first tip. Number two is uh, pack a reusable water bottle. I can't tell you how many like plastic water bottles you go through when you're traveling because a lot of times you're going to places where you don't really trust the water source. Um, so, you know, packing a reusable water bottle with um, those uh, water purifying tabs, or you can do like a water purifying um, pen that you like dip into the water. So you can, you know, bring those two things with you. Um, and that'll really, really get you far because plastic bottle water bottles are literally the enemy. <laughs> um, they have really cool, I have one right here. This is ginormous. You don't need one this big. This is really heavy. Um, but yeah. they have ones that are collapsible made out of you know stainless steel or silicone or whatever um so that's a good option when we were when we were traveling we had a life straw bottle that yes. we had the filter in there so we could do the same thing wherever we could have water that we took with us we would even put water in like separate water bottles and then always poured it into our life straw before we drank it so it was always filtered. there you go <laughs> there you go that's awesome um, yeah, number three, I was gonna say um, public transportation. So um, yeah. I know, yeah, it's, it's fun and, you know, bougie to order like a private driver. <laughs> um, I know we'll do that, which is fine. But I do think that if you can use public transportation, a it's like a really cool way to meet locals. Um, yeah. and to experience like the local culture like you always if you like rent a bike or something like that, you can always stumble upon really cool like little hidden gems like little cafes and boutiques and things. Um, so I always love doing that. Like walking everywhere is, is awesome too, if you can. So and yeah. it's slow. You see more. Like yes, when you see so from one place to the next place, like you just see from a window. But when you're walking or on the bus and it's stopping or you're on a bike, you really get to see the more in between, like the tourist parts. Yeah. So um, I think that's a travel trip tip in general <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean taking the train is so beautiful and romantic and you can just kind of sit back and i mean they're really really nice trains nowadays um you can see all the countryside and you know things you wouldn't be able to even access with a car um so yeah trains bikes walking whatever you can do um public transportation again um cut down on the fuel emissions everything too so um number four i was going to say Sustainable brands, if you can buy um, sustainable brands, I know sustainable is like a buzzword nowadays, but it's great because it's true. Like there's eco-friendly fabrics that you can use like bamboo and things that are really, really soft. Um, you can kind of do your research on the brands that use um, eco-friendly um, like production measures. Like what are they, you know, are they cutting down on like their shipping and packaging with like, you know, biodegradable paper or whatever they, you know, recycled boxes, um, whatever they can do behind the scenes that are, you know, doing their part is, is really, really important. Um, yeah, I think um, that's a good way to do it too. And number five, last but not least, um, do your research in general on um, where you're going. So I always um, like to tell people, you know, a lot of the tour activities out there are fun and everything, but sometimes like they're not great when it comes to pollution yeah. or like the way that they treat animals. And you know, it's like, what is it doing for the local culture, the local animals, the local wildlife, um, the local you know environment in general? Um, just make sure you're not contributing to those harmful practices. Um, yeah, so no bad tourist activities. Um, 
I was going to say too, like, even if you want to go as far as to like, you're going to the local market, maybe buy fruit and veggies that are in season. Um, that's a really good way to contribute to, you know, eco-friendly travel. Um, I was going to say too, uh, one more thing. okay, anyways, I think that's all. <laughs> I think that's okay, all. I have one more thing that I, that I like to add at the end too, is um, toiletries. Like sometimes oh, yeah. like, Gosh. The little packaging, the little toothpaste, the little shampoo, the whatever, like, um, I know when we were traveling, we took, um, like, a shampoo bar. Um, nowadays, they have a lot more solid toiletries, which I think usually things that are solid have a lot less packaging. Or, you know, if you buy the, the solid soap or whatever, the solid shampoo, it might be wrapped with paper instead of wrapped in plastic or be in a plastic bottle. Um, they have toothpaste tablets that come in, like, a glass jar, and you can just take as many tablets it, that you need in a little bag or something um while you're leaving so there's a lot of toiletry things too that you can cut down not only at home but like when you're traveling too um to save a little plastic out of the landfills and stuff yes oh my gosh the the packaging is outrageous in general like the, it's so bad i mean it's way overused and so yeah anything that you can buy you know even if you're not traveling in like everyday life that can cut down um just be mindful of that because you know at, we as consumers if we don't buy that stuff then it's not going to be made you know we're the ones that are like driving the demand so uh, that's true. yeah that's true yeah that was part so so those are those are some of the the best and easiest to um you know practice in travel it's not like anything revolutionary where we're like hey change your whole trip to like add in these elements you know it's really like simple changes you can do and if everybody does a little bit of it and if everybody that was going to take an uber you know takes the bus if everybody stopped um buying things that would just were like plastic packaging in, in 20 little boxes or whatever um that would make such a huge difference so I was gonna say too like it'll save me money you know all of these things if you're not gonna buy a different water bottle every you know hour <laughs> um, if you're walking around if you're gonna take the bus I mean all of these are way more you know budget friendly ways to travel too um, and it's just kind of fun I mean you're gonna be a little bit more adventurous yeah you're like in the place you're like experiencing it like fully yeah so okay I'm travel, Ashley. I haven't been anywhere in so long I like to do this every week I'm like oh I want to do that <laughs> I'm like living vicariously through my customers so <laughs> oh you're going on a trip to Portugal awesome I wish I was going on a trip to Portugal <laughs> jealous. Yeah. Jealous. I, I feel with my customers too like I'll get pictures from Iceland and whatever and I'm like that's so awesome but also like I'm very jealous <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, can I tell you, um, one of the customers that I used, she was traveling to um, Costa Rica on her honeymoon, and I got her your leggings, because um, they were going to go hiking through waterfalls and things, and she texted me today and said it's like one of her, she literally wears them every day, they're like her favorite, most comfortable pairs, and she's going to order more, so. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I know. That, that makes me so happy, because you know, it's it's like. It, maybe you feel the same way, but it's like, it's like your baby and you're like passing it to someone and you're like, I hope you like my baby. Like <laughs> if you don't like my baby, I don't want to be um, upset, but like, I'm going to be a little, I'm going to be a little sad if, if you don't like it. But if, if you love it, like I'm so proud and I'm so happy and excited for you and for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I told her to join. She's a teacher, so she can't join right now. But I was like, you can meet Ashley, you can meet the designer and founder. So. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. Thank yep. you, Chelsea. Thank you to your customer. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to add in one last thing before we before we cut it. So if you're interested in getting a style box or a style subscription, she does that now too. So if you want new clothes every three months, um, and of course everything's ethical or sustainable or supports small women founders, things like that, um, then go check out Chelsea's business. It's gotchapack.com. Take the styling quiz. Tell her things you're interested in. If you, if you're not good at pairing things together, like Chelsea will help you there. You know, she'll. If you want to get splice clothing, but you're like, I don't know how this will fit into my, my the rest of my wardrobe, or I want, you know, something fancy for my night out on the town with my husband or whatever. Like Chelsea can help you with all of this. Um, so go take her style quiz. Go try one of her boxes for a trip or an event or whatever. Um, and if you, like I said, if you want to add any splice clothing, just add that to your styles quiz and she will do that. So. Yeah, the portion where you can write in and say specifically what you need. So if you're a fan of splice, you can add that in and I'll be sure to incorporate it in your box. Um, 
I was going to say one thing too, a great thing about what we do is a lot of those subscription style services, you know, they send you three to five things. Unfortunately, none of it really goes together. Also, it's not ethically sourced. You know, they'll send you like a leather jacket and then a pair of, you know, like leggings or, you know, <laughs> you know so it's like um, the, what we do is we really try to make sure that everything in the box can be mixed and matched. It's all outfits that you can wear together. And then, like I said, we send you that lookbook where you can see exactly how the outfits are combined. Um, so it's very practical. If you're just going to, you know, to three things in the mail and you don't know what to do with the rest of it um, in your closet, then it's kind of hard. So, yeah, just wanted to throw that. No, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah, and if you guys have any questions, definitely head over to gotcha pack, at gotcha pack on her Instagram. She'll answer or send her an email or something. But other than that, I just want to say thank you so much, Chelsea, for educating us on eco-friendly travel. And I hope you have a great day, guys. Thank you for having me. All right. Talk soon. Bye, guys.